Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Tyler. There are a lot of you out there who have had somebody or met probably a family member or maybe more to constantly disrespect you and you just put it up under the rug, you let it slide, you was being so forgiving and then you were the same one who act like nothing didn't even happen and then giving them a get out of jail for free pass. And then that person comes around, rather it might be somebody, a family member, or maybe more, keeps on constantly disrespecting you and the cycle goes on and I'm going to tell you that you need to put a stop to somebody rather it might be a family member or it probably might be more family members or it might be a so-called friend that that is constantly disrespecting you acting like nothing ain't even happened. You need to start standing up for yourself. And then you need to say that it ends here. Even though if you stand up for yourself, these are the same family members or the same family member or the same so-called friend that will come and to gaslight you and to put manipulating tactics in your mind just because you stood up for yourself and they did not even expect it. Getting real mad and upset. Family members are well known for doing this, but it's well known in the black community. I'm just going to call it out for what it is. And some of you got to understand that in your mind, you are not going to tolerate someone disrespecting you. And you need to stop the flow of going with them, acting like nothing ain't even happened, and then having a conversation, and then they're doing the same cycle over and over again. And you know where that comes from? And a lot of you don't like it. The doctrine of forgiveness in the religion of Christianity. Letting them slide constantly over and over again. And a lot of you will say it doesn't come from that. Yes, you do, because you're being so forgiving for that person constantly disrespecting you. And you're not even putting a stop to it at all. Sometimes you got to stop letting stuff like that slide. And sometimes you need to rebuke that particular person. And sometimes you need to put it into the place they got to be removed from your life. Just like the last video that I put out, somebody has got to go, they got to go. It ain't nothing wrong with cutting somebody off from your family. It ain't nothing wrong with cutting a, a so-called friend off. It ain't nothing wrong with it. That's just tough love. But the Christian world want to act like it's wrong to cut someone off. And it's not. When someone has constantly done the wrongdoing and you done had enough. Some of you, you got to get into the mindset you done had enough with their disrespect. You done had enough with it. And just like for all of you out there, and I ain't left all of you people out that has been extremely disrespected on one basis. You are going to have to stop having a conversation with someone and then they're putting it up under the rug pretending like it didn't even happen at all when that particular family member or that so-called friend or whoever it may be extremely disrespected you. You're going to have to start rebuking just like the Messiah said in Luke 17 and 3. 
And there's other places in the Bible where it says it as well. You're going to have to stop the pretending like most people in this world do until they come in to repent. But that's so hard for the Christian world to understand. And I'm going to tell you to those who are listening When someone disrespects you, rather if it was on a one-time ordeal or rather it's on a consistent ordeal, they're telling you how they feel about you in a bad, in a bad way. They have revealed their true colors of who they are. When they revealed their true colors of who they are, believe it. Know it. They're constantly showing you this time after time again. And then you know what? These are the same people, and especially family members as well, but especially in family. I want this, I want respect, but you constantly giving out the action of disrespect to other family members or to someone else. It does not work that way. God is, does not work that way. If you dish out disrespect, disrespect is going to come back to you. And I'm going to tell all of you that some of you, you need to put a stop to some people, of, rather it's in your family, or rather it might be a so-called friend constantly disrespecting you. And I'm going to tell you, this is not a mistake when they disrespect you. It is something that is planned a lot of times. It is something that they want to do to you. And they think it out of how they do it to you. And then some of them, and especially family members, will use that disrespect so that they can use the situation against you to make other family members say that you was out of line or you was wrong in that type of situation. They'll use it. But the end of the day is not right in the eyes of the Most High. That's how some of these low-down people who are out there who disrespect will do. So I'm going to go on ahead and cut this video short. All of you have a great and wonderful day and evening.